Greetings everybody, how is it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we're gonna look at what to expect in July, what you can see, what are the potentials. I don't know what I am going to see. I will look at the Keeper cards and also Tarot. This time I'm not gonna look at the Coffee Cup, but I am keeping the Coffee Cup option for something else in the future, so stay tuned for that. Let me give you enough of time so we can meditate on my pebbles, then I will start with this one. Hello number one, how are you? I hope everything is fine. Let's see what to expect in July. To be honest with you, cards are not behaving well for you. I have to say that. I wonder why. What kind of a negativity that you're gonna face this month, I have no idea right now, but it can be a little time consuming for you, but let's see what it could be all about, okay? Let's not just like focus on the negativity only. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, that's a good start. At least we know that you're going to be able to take care of yourself, you're going to be able to nurture yourself and your family. At least there's going to be some kind of a positive in this situation. That's good. That's really, really good. You will be the wise one, okay? The Hermit. As you can see, ten of wands, all right, and six of wands. That's amazing. That's really, really good. I will open more cards. I have to warn you, I will open more cards. But let's just talk about the tarot cards that you are having right now at this specific moment. Look, there's going to be some kind of a practical choice that you have to make. You are going to put all of your mind into it. You are going to be really wise about a certain situation. The practicality is going to be really, really important to get rid of some kind of a negativity or old negativity that have happened before, but maybe it is still lingering. The effects are still lingering and you have to face it every day. You will be able to get rid of that, okay? Taking the trash out, basically. This is what you're going to do this month. <laughs> And it's going to be amazing. To be honest with you, at first I was like, okay, what's going on? But then I saw all the good cards and I was like, okay, thank God, it is a good thing. Sometimes you have to touch the garbage so you can take it out, you know? If you know what I mean. Or you have to clean the house, you have to, you have to, you know, see where the dirt is so you can take it out. Those kind of things. You know, I mean, just, of course, I'm just speaking in a, you know, symbolic way, but you can understand what I'm going for. You will be focused on creating a really, let's say, comfortable and stable environment for yourself. It's going to be important for you. Something was not comfortable before. It will become a comfortable situation for you. It could be money, honestly, or how you're dealing with the money. It doesn't have to be about how you're spending the money, but it could be about like how you are earning it, how you are dealing with those kind of things in general when it comes to life, when it comes to spendings and everything. Maybe... Like, you are not spending for yourself, but let's see what you're going to spend it for, your quality of life, you know? How it could be is, like, like buying yourself an espresso machine that you wanted to for far too long, you know? Those kind of things are going to be important for you. But I also see, again, I have to say that practical, practical approach to everything that you're going to have. You're going to seek for some kind of an inner wisdom, okay? Hermit is all about that inner wisdom. You will be smart about what you're doing, but you're not going to ask other people's opinions, which is talking about some kind of a, you know, independence. And it could actually hurt some people that you are not asking them about what they are thinking about. You know, you are not asking what they are doing. You're not asking what they are thinking of. You are not going to be interested with what others are doing. You will be focused on what you can do, what you can afford, what you can say, how you are feeling, you know, it's all about you. In this reading, it is all about you because I have to say that maybe some kind of a problem was there before and you had to get rid of that problem by yourself. So when it is over, you would like to keep that solitude with you for a while to enjoy that solitude, you know? You're not going to take the people with you to celebrate it with you at the beginning. Why? Maybe they were not there when it comes to taking the responsibilities for the problems. 
maybe you felt alone but you know some kind of a resentment to the other people like you were not there when I was suffering now you are here to celebrate it with me and I'm gonna be honest they're gonna be there with you they're gonna be like okay look at how incredible it is they're gonna be like oh my god I would like to celebrate it with you I am so happy for you maybe they are genuine honestly I didn't see any kind of negativity but it is not going to come to you as like that it's just I don't know some kind of an icky feeling from here I don't know we will see the other cards maybe it's gonna be more open about it but like inner self the reflection time I am gonna deal with everything by myself and I'm gonna enjoy everything by myself that kind of a feeling is so heavy in this reading so ten of wands as always it is representing the burden responsibilities and being overwhelmed but it is over now so some kind of a situation is coming to the conclusion and you're gonna feel like okay finally it is over and then you're gonna be like okay finally it is finished but it already created the stress and fatigue you know you are already tired the tiredness doesn't go away that swiftly even though you think that okay finally that burden is over you're gonna carry that feeling with you for a while it's gonna take a little time for you to heal and you're obliged to give yourself that kind of a time so you can actually heal it is your obligation to yourself it's not just about like what you're gonna do about you know the other people or the situations no it is not about that it is about you it's like going to a vacation by yourself enjoying it and people were just like planning to go to vacation with you and you feel like, no, it is too much anxiety. I don't want to plan a vacation with like a whole family. This is not what I would like. I would like to just mind my business. I don't want to deal with other people's requests. I just want to spend this time alone to take care of my body, to take care of my mind. I feel it so strongly. I cannot shake off the feeling. Like you don't want the other people to come with you some kind of a celebration some kind of a vacation some kind of a good event that is going to happen you want to be alone oof that's so heavy i don't know why <laughs> but you know six of wands is here so we're just talking about like the victory recognition you know all the good stuff that everybody wants to get even fame for some people hard work is finally paying off this is all about that we all know that so you are going to achieve something this month. It is going to be so good for you. When you achieve it, when you are dealing with all the burdens and everything, it's going to be over and you get the results of your hard work. And yes, it is going to be amazing because 10 of wands is a huge burden and 6 of wands is talking about a victory. So get, getting rid of that kind of a big burden, it's going to be a victory by itself. You're going to feel so good about yourself. Okay, you're going to shine, but you would like to keep it to yourself for a while. I am not reading the reversals, but I have the feeling that if I am reading it, this should be like the reversal, to be honest with you. Like, yes, there's a good thing that is happening, some kind of a success, but I don't want to share it with other people. The fruits of my labor, I don't want to share it with other people. You have that kind of a feeling this month. Whatever that is, it could be about anything. If you would like to get a job, you will get a job, and then you're going to be like, okay. I'm not going to tell everybody about this thing. If they don't ask, I'm not going to talk about it. If Even if they ask, I'm not going to give the details. If it is like a, an educational thing, which it could be, by the way, screams like education to me, to be honest, you will be like, let's see how things will work out and then maybe I will mention that I am studying this. Some people are like that. They don't talk about like the achievements of their own. They don't talk about it until you know a certain amount passes without any kind of an intention they, they they don't want to keep it secret from people for any kind of an agenda they just would like to take that time to themselves and enjoy it by themselves you know it's just their own thing and maybe you will have that kind of a thing you know if there's any kind of a challenge this month you are going to get rid of that by facing it and your efforts are going to be recognized you will achieve success if there's any kind of a situation that is going on, you will face head on and then you will be victorious. So do not worry about any kind of a negativity that shows up at your door because it is not going to create problems. It is not going to create any kind of a negative feeling for you. That's what I saw for you. I would like to open 
keep your cards now to see what it could be about it could be about love but i am struggling to read it as like a love situation but maybe keep your cards show it maybe it is like a marriage situation i don't know we will see the feeling of it is just alone time it screams like self-care it screams like a vacation by one person like i don't want to deal with other people i don't know what other people did to you honestly <laughs> but you don't want to see them anymore or you don't want to be you know involved with their drama or the drama that comes with them you don't want to be included in that you just would like to be alone the feeling is you know what maybe you are going to see in the near future is so soothing and it's, it's gonna be so amazing for you honestly let's see the other details though okay success this is basically the six of wands high honor i'm not surprised you will achieve something it's gonna be good you will achieve it and you are gonna be oh, okay okay there's a change card something is about to change for you in a good way in a really really good way don't worry about that like changes sometimes it could be really you know what i felt moving out Changes can be really difficult, you know, in those kind of ways. Like, if you're moving out, you have to, you know, find a house and then you have to deal with all the bills and you have to carry your stuff and you have to put everything in an order. It takes a lot of time and effort and it could be really stressful. It is really stressful. But after everything is finished, you are closing your door in your new house and then you're maybe having a beautiful cup of coffee thanks to the new espresso machine that you got. You know, we mentioned that. <laughs> and then you are watching the view and you're looking to the neighborhood. Maybe weather is amazing and you're just like feeling it was worth it. It was worth it. That's what you're feeling. So main female, this is possibly you. I'm not saying that you are a female or anything like that, but the feeling of it is like you're going to be the main character of a situation. You will you will have something for yourself. Again, it is just like screaming, this reading is just for me. No one is included. I don't want anyone's feelings. I don't want anyone's energy. It's just my thing. It will it will be wonderful for you, honestly. It will be wonderful. Okay, let's see what else. A gift. Maybe this is like something you wished for, but you never had any kind of an expectation. Oh, it's never going to happen. Something like that can actually happen this month. No, it's never going to happen. I have the feeling of, okay, just for some people, I don't know what kind of work that you're dealing with, but maybe you are having some kind of an online thing, okay? You are working with people online. And this company is going to provide you some kind of a chance and you will be like, no, it will never gonna happen to me. You know, maybe something like that, it will happen to you. Maybe they're gonna come up with an offer for you and it is going to require you for some kind of a change. And when you do those kind of changes, you're gonna be so successful. Yes, it is gonna be, you know, overwhelming. Yes, obviously, but after everything that is sort it out, you're going to feel, okay, this is really good. Maybe they're going to offer you some kind of a relocation. I don't know. It could happen. It screams like relocation, to be honest with you, for the work-related situations. Like, okay, would you do this thing in another place? Some kind of a change, some kind of a progress, some kind of, a, you know, difference that is going to happen in your life. Not everything is going to be so, like, what was there before. It will have a different kind of a feeling for you. It is not going to be the same. And when you see that it is not the same, you will feel more excited than overwhelmed. And I think it will work wonderfully. But I would like to see tea leaf cards. Hold on a second. What it could be about? I just want to see more. What it could be about? Where are you going if you're going anywhere? Or, you know, it, some kind of a change of the job that you are doing. Maybe your title is going to change. Maybe you will have some kind of a promotion even. And you're going to be like, nah, it doesn't happen in that way. No, it's not. You are, you are not expecting it. Okay, You basically are not planning on it. You are not thinking that it is going to be for you. Look, another woman card, dealings or relationship with a woman. Maybe it is going to be important, like three women cards in here, okay? Like a maybe a mother, somebody who is being really influential in your life, maybe a boss, 
be like that too it will be really important bag something important such as a new job or a race again promotion something about the work is you know it's going to change and it will it will give you a better option it will provide you a beautiful option and you you will be like okay i have more of the resources now i can do this and that but you're going to keep it to yourself for a while you're not going to share it with people okay i think it is going to be really important in this way i would like to read it as like a love related message but i'm failing honestly in love section i don't know what it could be about but let's open more cards for it just for you, I'm not going to do that to the other people, but you know, when you are having this mindset of like, I'm going to mind my own business, I'm not going to deal with everyone else, or I'm going to just focus on my work or something like that, maybe it is going to be difficult for you to focus on the love section, but let's see what it could be about for you in the love, if you have any kind of a situation, okay, someone is watching you. Okay, someone is watching you, but they are not doing anything yet. They are not communicating with you. They are not saying anything yet, but they are quite aware of that you exist and they like you for being who you are. Again, another page, two pages for the love situation. It is still raw. It's not there yet. You know, yes, it is going to happen in a way that maybe in a beautiful way, but it is still having its own time. Two pages in the love readings. It could be about like not mature yet it's not there yet it's not like out there yet it's not happening yet but something is in the horizon that's what i can say there's going to be a love situation in the future maybe in the other months but in july you're going to see maybe there's a person out there maybe you are not going to be so sure about it but maybe they are not going to say anything yet but something is brewing it's not out there yet, okay? Basically, that's what I can say about it. Other than that, you are going to have an incredible month. That's what I can say. You will be really, really successful. You will be the main character of your own life. You will get some kind of a raise. You will get some kind of a promotion, maybe a new job. And then you're going to deal with like a nice kind of a dealing with a person maybe or maybe you're going to be that person you know maybe you're going to be that woman who is dealing with everything and then you are going to be so wise about your decisions and everything that you're going to do success is everything for you in this month and you're going to see it okay that was all i hope you enjoyed this reading and i hope to see you in the next time bye hello number two how is it going i hope everything is fine let's see what to expect in july I know it's kind of late, it already started, but let's see what is left from July. I don't know, I did not want to make a video about that until uh, until today, actually. I, I didn't feel the energy to do it. Maybe there's some kind of a delay in your life as well. We will see what it could be about. Three of Wands. Alright. It's a nice card, I like it. King of Cups, it's beautiful. Whatever you're dealing with, you're going to deal with the maturity, which is great. Okay. Ten of Wands, what is happening? Ten of Wands at the same spot at number one, if you would like to watch it. And Four of Cups, all right. Something is waiting, you know, the waiting part is a little bit too long. I will open more cards, but for now, this is what we're going to have. July will be the month for you that you're going to do a lot of planning, a lot of foresight. You will look ahead. You will plan what can actually happen in the future. You will get some kind of a suggestions about what you can do in the future. You will look at the different opportunities. If you're looking for a job, maybe you're going to find a better a you know web page that is providing a lot of offers and something like that. I don't know. Something is going to expand your horizon and you're going to see more than the other people. And your efforts are going to be important and it will actually show some kind of a result. It will at the beginning of showing some kind of a result. And maybe you are in need of that. Like, I would like to see some tangible results of the situation. You are expecting that kind of a feeling. After everything that has been done, like, what is the situation? What I did for? Like, what's happening? Okay. But I can say that you're going to have this, again, emotional maturity. You will be so mature about dealing with everything that is going on in your life. You will have the balance in your life this month. It is going to be really important. You know, the emotions 
are going to be important, but you're going to keep it really calm and balanced, it, which is like, it doesn't happen all the time. Let's be honest. When you feel emotional, it can wreak a havoc, but it's not going to happen in that way for you, especially if you're expecting something that is not out there yet. And you're feeling like, okay, what's going to happen in my life? It can be really devastating. It could be really anxiety driven times, but you're not going to feel like that. You you know, there's something that, okay, I'm waiting for this thing. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay. The feeling is out there. Let's see what's going to happen. I would like to see the results of it. But it is not underlined with anxiety. It is not underlined with like the negative expectations. Oh, no, it's never going to happen. You're not going to have that kind of a feeling. You will see like, okay, let's see. Let's see. And you will keep your heart open. And it is going to be difficult. Honestly, it's going to be difficult. Because, you know, Four of Cups is talking about the apathy. And, okay, bored, what's next kind of a feeling, yeah? But you're going to have this re-evaluation of situations, okay? Let's see what's going to happen with this one. You will be so mature when it comes to planning those kind of things. It's like playing chess, actually. You will have something in your mind. And you will see what they are doing. And then you are going to re-evaluate everything. And then you are going to do your own move. And it will not give you anxiety. It will give you this excitement of like, okay, what can happen next? You are winning in this chess game, basically. That's why you feel comfortable enough. That's why you feel, you know, nothing bad can actually happen after this situation. I already won the game. But you would like to see how it is going to show itself to you. So in this month, you're going to feel like you're already winning something. You're already having something. But you would like to see how it is going to show itself to you. It's, it's like a different kind of a feeling. It doesn't happen all the time. Because most of the time, we are just like feeling this negativity or the anxiousness all the time. Like, it's always putting some kind of, it's casting a shadow all the time and you feel like you cannot escape of it, it's not going to happen because you are solid. You are like, okay, I know what I am doing. I know what I'm going to see. I know my own feelings and I know how to deal with them. And it is not creating a problem, which is great, which is great. Okay. You know, navigating your own feelings wisely, being compassionate enough, to the other people and create some kind of a guidance for yourself and for the other people. You are going to be the one who is setting the trend for the other people. Okay, folk, this is how we are going to do it. You're going to be so responsible for a lot of things and you're going to be capable enough to deal with those kind of responsibilities. Even though at the beginning, maybe beforehand, it was like overwhelming and it was just like a lot of responsibilities and negativity, etc. But it's over now. You suffered enough. You cannot suffer more. You know, basically, 10 of ones. You had a lot of overwhelming feelings, overwhelming situations, but it is over now. It's finished. In July, you're going to see that things are just like settling down and then you can actually see what is going to happen next. And it's going to be important. Look, there's a journey, like inner journey for you, like for planning and looking forward and see what's going to happen next. And this inner journey is going to create different options for you. You will see the things that you were not seeing before. So it is important. This month, feeling the feelings, it's going to be important for you. If you are a cancer, then you're going to thrive, actually. Honestly, this is your month, of, of course. But, you know... The feeling of it is not devastating. It is not creating any kind of a shadow over you. No, no, no. The weight of responsibility and the burden, it will not make you cry. They will not make you cry. Because you're going to be strong enough to deal with those kind of things. Your capacity is growing to deal with those kind of things. But I would like to warn you about something. You can actually do a little bit more than the other people in this way. You know, you, you are going to feel maybe responsible. You're going to do the things and you're going to set the trends for the other people. But please be careful to not to have a burnout for yourself, okay? You can have it. Others cannot see the things that you can see. You can do so much more. You can fix certain things. You can, you know, plan different things and everything. It can create some kind of a burnout. Burnout actually can happen without anxiety. Even though you are so good at what you are doing, it can create some kind of a burnout. Please be careful. Take care of your mind. Take care of what is happening around you. And then 
balance everything in your own mind first and then it's gonna happen no matter what okay let's see the keeper cards I would like to see the situations for you this is like the feeling part of the reading okay basically how you're gonna feel what's gonna affect you but I would like to see the situations outside and how it's gonna create any kind of a difference this month okay message of concern all right okay we will see unexpected income maybe it's all about money maybe it's all about like how you're gonna get the money all right let's see the other cards before i say anything you know main female at the same part at the same place please go and watch number one just in case if there's any kind of a message for you honestly two cards at the same spot it says a lot there's a mature man okay look you can actually have some messages regarding this you know overwhelming situation okay what are we gonna do some people can actually ask you what they are gonna do what they're supposed to do or maybe all of you are included in this situation and they're gonna turn to you to find any kind of a solution so basically you will get something to deal with you you will put a really careful attention and then you are going to focus on that thing but it is not going to again i have to warn you it is not going to create the negative undertone okay something that you can deal with like this maturity is another level yes you can deal with this thing that's why they are coming to you you know they are not laying everything over your shoulders they they are genuinely believing that you can fix things that's why they are coming to you and you're gonna feel good about it actually there's some kind of a financial gain that is gonna happen this month apparently for you you're gonna receive some kind of a money from an unexpected source I don't think it is related to just work. I think it could be more of like a luck related situation. I'm not saying that you have to play lottery, but if you are interested, of course, be my guest. But, you know, something is going to come to you with luck. This money will happen out of luck and you will be like, okay, cool. All right. Or maybe I'm going to read it for just some people. Okay. Let's say that you have some kind of an investment. All right. You put that investment maybe a long time before, but you are not expecting anything that comes with that, okay? You are not expecting it's going to turn something nice, but you know that this is an investment. It cannot go bad. Investments are just like going to one direction, and it is a good direction, okay? It's at least in this scenario, okay? Maybe you felt like it's a long-term investment. I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to wait. Maybe my children will see the results of it. That kind of an investment, okay? You know, though, you know that it is going to turn into something valuable, especially if it is related to land, especially if it is related to housing and something like that. You know that it is going to be effective, but you, you don't expect it to happen so soon, maybe. And maybe it is going to happen in a way that, okay, Let's see what's going to happen next. And you have that kind of a feeling. You know that good things are going to happen. You know that good things are coming to your way. But you don't expect that soon, maybe. You know, the feeling of it, it could be like that. You will be really important when it comes to decision making. You will do all the decisions maybe this month. And it is going to have a meaning for you. Look, sometimes taking responsibility of other people can be really tiresome. It could be really, you know, uh, difficult. It could be... I don't know, like time consuming and it could be damaging some way or <laughs> in some way. But in in this scenario, you're going to feel good at what you're doing. If you had to deal with other people, you're going to deal with them kindly. You know, there's going to be some kind of a balance. You will balance things out. Number one, didn't have the balance. They were just like, no, nope, just me by myself. I don't want to deal with other people. But for you, you can actually have the capacity to deal with other people, which is a rare sight, actually. It doesn't happen to everybody. Look, there's an old man, wiser person, maybe a mentor, maybe an advisor, somebody. But, you know, it's a significant male figure. That's what I can say. You can actually have some kind of a conversation with him. You know, these two combined is talking about some kind of a father, some kind of a maybe an uncle, something like that can happen. Can just without interfering with your situation, they can just like show up and say something. And it could be really effective. Honestly, it could be really, really effective. Or 
this person could be the one who is bringing you the money. You know, if you have a father who is still alive, maybe this person is going to bring you some kind of a money. And it's going to be an unexpected situation for you. They are not going to bring this money because they think that you are in need of money. They're just like, they would like to share it with something. They would like to just share it with you, maybe. You know, some kind of a generosity, generous offer that you might actually have. I would like to read it as like a love situation. If you would like to have a relationship with a specific person, it could be still like early stages of a relationship, like maybe not there yet, maybe the feelings are not there yet. Something is not happened yet for you to have those kind of solid feelings for the specific person, okay? But it doesn't mean that it will never gonna happen. In this month, you're going to see a lot of things that are happening when it comes to love. So you can actually plan everything all together. But I have to warn you, if you are interested with somebody, but that person is not showing any kind of an interest, it could be a totally different story. Please be careful that you are not fooling yourself by expecting things that are coming from this person when they are not doing anything at all. Please be careful about that, all right? I would like to speak about the married people. The married people can actually have a couple of negotiations with their spouses when it comes to, I don't know, like the summer plans, maybe something like that. They are going to have some kind of a quarrel. It could be like not a big deal but they can have different opinions and they can be like okay I don't want to do that I, I don't want to do this and when everybody is just like insisting on what they would like to have it can create a little bit of delay like we were speaking about the delays at the beginning don't we like something is gonna happen but it can actually have a delay so please be careful about it now you have a unicorn use your intuition to make beneficial changes so you have to focus on what you are feeling, what you are thinking, what you are expecting from your own life. It will be better for you, honestly. It will be so much better. Not just relying, you know, relying on someone else's situation or someone else's advice is one thing. But getting the advice and doing whatever you are doing is something totally different. So you have to balance things out. Again, you have to be the one who is just like, I hear you. But I know what I'm going to do. Okay? It will be really important, apparently. Again, dragon, the veil of self-delusion. It is all about the love situation that I was speaking. Maybe you like somebody, but that person is not doing anything. Please be careful not to read every single behavior of this person as like, okay, they like me. This is a gesture. No, please be careful about that, all right? Please be very, very careful about that. I have a feeling for you, I have to say. This month is going to surprise you, not just because I saw this unexpected income card, no. It will surprise you and it will take you out of this boredom. It will take you out of this negative kind of a mindset. Maybe you feel really bored, maybe you feel like, no, there's no plan for the summer, I'm just going to rot in my bed, I'm not going to do anything. It is not going to happen in the way that you are anticipating at that moment. Like, something is going to happen and you're going to be like, okay, let's see. And then you're going to have this planning. And, you know, normally you are like really intuitive person and you can focus on what's going to happen. You can actually foreshadow what is going to happen. But you have to open some kind of a slot in your life that, you know, unexpected, th unexpected things can actually happen too. And this month is the month for you to show those kind of things for you. All right. That was all. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you the next ones. Bye. Hello, number three. How is it going? I hope everything is fine. Let's see what to expect in July. I hope it will be a good month for you. You will have the things that you would like to see in your life. I wonder what kind of a feeling that you're gonna have. The hanged man. Okay, don't freak out. We will see what it is all about. Something is coming to a stopping point, but we will see what it is. Yeah, I, I have the feeling. Okay, page of pentacles. Dealing everything by yourself, doing everything for, you know, what's happening all around you. And then, all right, I'm not doing anything anymore. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see. Some kind of a dare. Some, you're going to dare other people to do better. Because you, you did your part. You did a lot of work. You, you had a lot of work. You had to juggle with everything at the same time. It's coming to an end. By the way, you have three pentacle cards money is definitely gonna happen for you you will secure yourself and then you're gonna say no more something okay 
you will have some kind of a money, you will have some kind of a project that you're going to deal with, you will secure the money for yourself, and then you're going to be like, okay, I'm done. What are you bringing to the table? Why do you have that kind of a feeling, though? It sounds like a little negative, isn't it? Like the hanged man put some kind of an end, some kind of a let go of an expectation or, you know, you're going to be like, okay, no more of this. Let's see another thing. Let's see what else is going to happen. Another situation. I am going to keep my perspective for this and I'm not going to just like focus on specific things and doing the same thing over and over to expect something different. I'm not going to do that. The feeling of it is like even kind of some kind of negativity, to be honest. But not in a way that you are wrong in people. Maybe you are the one who is being wronged. You did a lot of things for a situation. Maybe for a relationship, for argument's sake. You did a lot of things for this relationship and still came to a point and it just like put a halt and you're just like, why it happened in this way? It shouldn't happen in this way. And I have to be fooled to believe that this person was going to do this and that. Maybe you feel like... So you did expect it something. And it didn't happen in the way that you were expecting. But what are you going to do about it? That's the question for this month, apparently. You will have different angle for the situations. You will pause and reflect and then you're going to have a possible change. And this change is going to make you so happy. So happy. But first, let's be honest, you're not going to feel like really, really happy, okay? Okay, my light is just like flickering. I don't know why. I'm gonna turn it off and they open the other one you see everything has changed with the perspective <laughs> you know one thing is not working but the other is gonna work for you but it is gonna take a little time so in July focus on your own self-care do the things that are making you really happy and focus on the things that are actually providing some kind of a result which could be about a work situation honestly like juggling multiple things at the same time. I don't know why everybody is having this like dealing with everything at the same time kind of a feeling. Like at number one and number two, there was like ten of ones. In here, there are two of pentacles. Two of pentacles is also talking about the managing different responsibilities at the same time. It requires for you to manage your resources and your time effectively. So... Everybody is really, really busy with something. I don't know why everybody is so busy. But this busyness is going to create a beautiful situation for you. You will have this uh, flexibility. You must have this flexibility. And, and then you're going to have this harmony, which is going to create a beautiful situation for you and your own expectations. Okay? Look, Page of Pentacles is like a self-made person basically but it's also about like new opportunities and learning and growing and focusing on the practicality so what you're gonna have in general is this month when you're dealing with the things by yourself you're going to learn you're going to be practical and it is not going to just come from other people just because you know they are being really generous towards you. it's not going to happen in, in this way what you're going to have is that something that you created for yourself basically what you're going to have is like the things that you made with your own hands what are you going to do with this thing are you going to just like keep it with you and you're going to just save it for yourself uh, or you're just going to let it go to the other people's feelings or you know whatever they are feeling at that moment how they're going to treat that moment are you going to leave it to them or you're just going to keep it to yourself? That kind of a feeling, that kind of decision making is going to be really heavy for you. But I didn't see that you're just going to let other people stomp on all of your all of the hard work that you are putting. It's not going to happen, okay? You will not let them to ruin everything that you have created. But you will also not going to do more so they can benefit. There's going to be a thin line of what you have already done and what you are going to do. How you're going to keep the balance is going to create the harmony in your life. It might sound difficult at the beginning. Because some people are being really... They are going to feel entitled. And they're going to feel like, okay, what are you going to bring? What are you going to do? What are you going to do this? And they're going to be so... You know, they're going to expect a lot of things from you without putting any kind of an effort outside. Maybe because this that's what they 
are getting used to, they feel like you are the one who's supposed to do the things for maybe the family, for the relationship, for the work. And the moment that you are not doing it and you're keeping your grounds still, they're going to be like, hold on, it doesn't happen in this way. They're going to challenge you that it, it doesn't happen. Either this and that, they're going to make you choose or maybe they're going to push you to feel in this way that you have to choose this or that. But it is not just this or that, okay? Even though it seemed like you have to choose, you will be like, I will choose when I want to choose, okay? Basically like that. Six of Pentacles is like a generosity and sharing, okay? And also, it is talking about the balance. Again, giving and receiving. It requires some kind of a balance. Never forget that. I think this month, you're going to have this balance for yourself. Giving and receiving. Everything's supposed to be in a balance. Like, it, if it is like a friendship thing, you're going to be like, okay, if I don't put too much of an effort, what else the other person is going to do? You will have this mindset of, let's see how they are behaving. You will calculate how other people are behaving. Like you will be the judge of it. You will be the judge of, okay, this is a good friendship. This is not a good friendship. I don't know why, but you know, even though it has some kind of a negativity, some kind of, some kind of a negative undertone, you will choose correctly. You will be fair. And you will focus on the mutual benefit at the end, but you just don't want to push yourself to get that mutual benefit. It is not a mutual benefit if the other person is behaving like a parasite. It means that the other person is feeding off of you. It is not a mutual benefit. It's not a symbiosis. It's not the symbiosis that maybe you thought that you were having. Maybe the other person is taking too much off you. Maybe that other person is creating problems for you. Maybe they are being really dangerous even. When you realize it, when you just like cut the resources for that person's use, that they are going to be like, hold on a second, what's happening? And this is going to shake some people. It's going to ruffle some feathers. But let's see what you're going to see in your life in the Kippur cards. This is the feeling of it. You know, I would like to see what other people are going to do. I would like to see, like, my work, my hard work is being appreciated. I would like to see a different perspective of the situation. I don't want to push myself to the core to have what if, you know, it happens or not. No, it's over now. I'm not going to let other people take advantage of me anymore but what kind of advantage that you are having the other people are trying to get it from you i would like to see that okay this is like this reading i don't know why but it was like kind of different everything is just like so let's see kind of a feeling it had that feeling i don't know why gift you have something they don't have basically all right you will you will receive something really really nice and you will feel so happy about it gift is the gift of life. Something is going to be rewarded, basically. It's going to be good for you. You see, judication, like, you are the one who is judging the other people. You are the one who is deciding who is good or not. This is a good relationship. This is a bad relationship. This is a good friendship. This is a bad friendship. Like, everything that you are going to decide this month is going to be really heavy for you, apparently. Poverty, do not freak out, but I think somebody made you starve literally you are the one who is doing the hard work and they do nothing they do nothing and they expect you to be happy in this nothingness they starve you from the attention they starve you from the good feelings they starve you maybe literally i don't know Oof. if you are not the one who is bringing they are not doing anything at all and when you realize it you're gonna be like hold on a second Hold on a second. See, there's a change. You're, you're the one who's changing it. You're the one who's bringing the change. And they are so afraid. They are so afraid. I see a little bit too much of a generosity. I think you are the one who's being really, really generous towards other people. You deal with their problems. You are attending their needs. You are just like creating good things for them. If there's any kind of a... Oh, okay, I have a feeling, guys. I have to say that. You are bringing the best gifts to the people, especially if they are celebrating their birthday, okay? You are the one who is attending everything, like cake, it's all on you. Gift, 
all on you is all on you and then you know dealing with the planning and everything it is all on you you are the one who is doing everything for the birthday of the person when your birthday comes silence no cake no gift no planning no party not even a message oh i forgot that was your birthday if there's anything that's starving that is starving other person like what what does that mean that you think that the other person deserves all the good things and the other person doesn't think that you are deserving anything good this is not a good bargain this is not a good thing nothing at all and then you say no more i am not going to celebrate someone else's birthday until they celebrate mine they are like hold on a second are we really friends they are gonna have this audacity to just like show up and say such things like you are not doing good enough or maybe you should be happy in the situation that you are in that they are really good catch maybe in a relationship they are like a really good husband or wife but then you see if there's any kind of relationship it is out there because of you you are playing this game by yourself no one else is there if this is like a work-related situation and you are doing everything by yourself, then you should do the thing for yourself as like a boss, not for someone else's work. If that amount of work requir is required, then it should be your work, no one else's. Like somebody wronged you big time. Somebody wronged you. I can feel it. I can feel it, okay? Like they think that... You are going to be okay with the hardship. No matter hardship they bring, you're going to be like, okay, I can deal with this thing. Of course you can deal with this thing, but why do you have to? Why does everything have to be so hard? Why everything has to come with like a problem? Why do you have to be the one who is accepting everything as it is? But when it comes to them, they're just like, hold on a minute. They are questioning every single detail. But when it comes to you, you have to accept everything. It's not a good bargain. No, no, no. All right. But something is going to change, especially in the legal matters. I have to say that for some people who happens to be already married, okay, and they're not having a really good kind of a marriage. And I know some people who are following my channel and they are asking for some readings. They are talking about this like divorce situations. That's what I am going to say that for specifically for them. Like uh, there's going to be a positive outcome for the legal matters so if you are going to the court you will be winning honestly if it was like a, you know the adjudication for the friendship let's let's say that there's a court for the friendship you're taking your friend to the court and you're saying okay i did this and that and i was like being a really good friend and i was out there for my friend but my friend was just like neglecting me you know a lot of people would be guilty of that a lot of people will be really, really guilty, especially people in your life. They will be really, really guilty in your life for starving you from your normal basic human needs and normal feelings and normal things. Everything, they are just like, they are not really a good person at all. You will have an unexpected help. I can actually read it as like that. This unexpected help is going to come to you maybe as like an offer to do something else. If it is like a work-related situation, possibly you're gonna get another kind of a job offer and then you're gonna leave everything behind and you're gonna take everything with you maybe. I don't know, It's all. it all depends on you know the situation. It all depends on, you're not going to leave your experiences behind. You will get it with you and you will leave. But also at the same time, if you are having like the tangible things, like maybe you are having the products, then you're gonna have that products with you and then you're gonna leave that place. Basically, if you have a, you know, a tangible thing that you are selling, you will take those things with you to sell it it's somewhere else. But if you are working at like a corporate job, then you're going to have your experiences and then you're going to leave for something so much better. Okay, uh, this positive change is going to create a better circumstance for you, like in a, in a general way. You will feel so much better, first of all. You will feel so much better. And... And you're going to feel like, okay, finally, justice is going to happen. Justice is happening. 
And if you have any kind of a difficulty when it comes to the material things in general, that you're going to see that this is going away because the change is happening, okay? You're not going to be poor anymore. Let's say in that way. If you have problems with money, you're not going to be poor anymore. You will be surrounded with money. You will. You will be surrounded with money, a lot of money. Embracing the change and staying positive, it is going to define your July. So keep an open mind because it's going to be really important. I would like to open a two of actually two of the tea leaf cards because I did that for the other people. Let's see what they're going to say for you. Tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead. All right, that's good. You are having a progress in your life. That is for sure. Pale. Time to get out of a situation. Okay, it's, you know, the things that's supposed to be over, you are walking away. You're walking away, no more, done. You're not going to push to make it happen. It will not going to happen. Fetch is not going to happen, okay? You will focus on something so much better. You will see the different opportunities. You will see the different possibilities. Just because you're going to say no. Sometimes saying no is really, really important. That was all. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye.